Hello and welcome to a fourth tutorial video and in this video I will show you how to use our standalone um, SOMI1 editor. So the editor you uh, find it again on our website it's available for macOS, Windows and Linux also for the MacBook M1 and um, it has a similar structure as the uh, SOMI1 Max tool also for Ableton Live so again you have three sections for the control change notes and the pitch band here you can select uh, the sensor you see the hub is connected and the battery life of the first connected sensor is 100% second one also third one not connected Okay, so um, now I'm using a standalone music software from uh, MOOC, the, the Mini MOOC Model D app. And so it's a pretty simple, simple synthesizer app. And here I want to use MIDI Learn without the need of Ableton Live. So let's say again, I select any uh, sound, maybe I don't know, this one. And um, Right now, it's still, when you're going back to the settings, you see that the nodes are currently using um, the activity. So again, we have just a very short node, but we want to hold it, so we set it to tilt X, and we apply it, and the pitch is changed depending on direction. Okay. Pretty simple, and by the way, if you shake the sensor a bit, you also see uh, here the one is changing a bit. Same for the two, so this is just that you know which sensor you're right now actually configuring. And let's say we want to map uh, again the tilt X angle here, which is already selected. Again, you can see that uh, the controller is set to controller 16 on MIDI channel 1. So let's use the manual solo like in the Max tool. I'm making it active. You see the LED is yellow again. So I go back to my app. Let's say I want to change the cutoff frequency here. So I'm going to MIDI settings, map MIDI. And I'm clicking on the filter cutoff and it's mapped. So these are our default mappings by, by the manufacturer. So now I can change the filter cutoff again. And remember why we don't have a note? Yes, because it's soloed. So we have to make it inactive again. And now it's maybe Better to use a different angle, uh, a movement parameter for the filter cutoff as for the note for the for the pitch. So instead of X, let's instead map uh, Y. So we have two distinct movement parameters: one to um, press the note, and the other one to change the filter cutoff. So I'm selected to Y, active. Going to MIDI Learn. I'm clicking on my filter, and I'm uh, making the learn uh, the solo inactive. So now I can uh, play the note. Yeah, so you get it. Um, this is how you map it with any other uh, music software, MIDI software you have. You can just use the MIDI learn functionality. Of course, you could also set the CC controllers manual if you like, but um, obviously it make, it's easier to use with MIDI learn. And uh, lastly, I want to demonstrate to use again the push encoder to uh, learn something. So let's say I want to, um, which one should we use? Yeah, let's use tilt Y again for changing uh, maybe the volume. Let's change the volume with tilt Y. So I'm pressing the push, push encoder, keep it pressed. The LED starts blinking in different colors. I'm moving around the tilt axis. Now it's soloed. <laughs> and um, I'm using MIDI, a map MIDI, and select the volume. And we have the tilt Z map to the volume. And we disable the solo again so we can play notes again. And Ja. 
Yeah, so if right now three parameters, I control the node, or actually four, I control the node on, off, the node pitch, the cutoff frequency, and the volume with three different uh, dimensions. Okay, and uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, I hope this makes it uh, very clear how to uh, use the Somi One standalone ed editor. So if you have questions here, you find more information in the manual, but uh, on the last two uh, tutorial videos, uh, because it's pretty much the same as the Max tool, just standalone. And in the last video, we show you how to use um, the editor with a hardware instrument.